Hey YouTube, it's Merritt here. We're gonna do an unboxing today. All right, so I've been waiting for this package for three or four months, I think. I think ever since late summer. Now, it's not the Sazabi here, but it is related. I ordered the Infinite Dimension Sazabi Resin Conversion Kit. I saw it last year um, online. The kit looked awesome. So, um, once I found out it was going on sale, I had to pick up a copy. Um, and I also picked up the extra parts set, as well as a few other um, parts for this build. This is my first resin kit. Uh, it's a dress-up kit, um, but definitely trying to work my way towards um, building a full resin kit, or building my own, um, whichever one comes first. But, let's do the unboxing. Now this will probably be a long build, because I also have to build the Master Grade first, I imagine. I built one of the original Sazabi Master Grade, um, so I'm looking forward to building this one. The Verka definitely added a bunch of cool details, but this resin kit, I think, will add a bunch of more awesome details. Alright, so very nicely packaged for shipping. Got two boxes here. Three, I think. Let's pull out this first one. Okay, this is a really nice quality box. Uh, there's a logo there, Infinite Dimension. So, let's go to the top first. Very nice branding. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Really nice manual. Sazabi. Okay, this is, this is awesome. Some nice full color photos of the parts, each of them numbered. This is fantastic. Uh, they also they also did a uh, Nataku the Ultron Shenlong Gundam, which looks really cool as well. But uh, let's start with this one first. Oh, looks like we also got some water slides, Infinite Dimension branding. So that's pretty cool. Can't have enough stickers. I think I've got a bunch already, but so then we've got. A Freedom Gundam incoming. Sananju Stein, that's pretty sweet. Ixia Dark Matter. Oh. This is great. <laughs> so let's get this put away. Now, later on, I'll do a, a parts count just to double check. This looks fantastic. Each part seems to be individually wrapped. So I think this is for the main body. So these are all the swapped parts. The casting seems really well done. Um, you see the gates are there, not too big. A little bit of cleanup work and maybe a tiny bit of uh, rescribing, but uh, you can definitely tell this was was handmade. Um, I believe they took the original parts and sculpted over them. Uh, these are 
These look great. The color is really nice too. Oop. And the some larger parts for the legs and the back, shoulders. Oh, awesome. So that was the main conversion kit. Second part, which apparently I stabbed. <laughs> but uh that's fine. This one's just a cardboard box, but still the branding is really nice. Matte box with the glossy logo. Um, and I did notice that some of this this build here um, had a few 3D printed parts, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think some of the uh, thrusters here in the backpack, these guys, were partially 3D printed, um, which is cool. Um, so this is the expansion set. Warning. Yeah, so these thrusters look, or uh, I guess not thrusters, but the propellant tanks look really cool. You know, some extra mods for the the weapons and the binders for the uh, fin funnels. Yeah, yep, these are 3D printed parts, so there's some renders there. That's pretty cool. Um, saw that he used ZBrush. So those parts will probably be really clean. So there's some few of the finished photos, which is really cool. I love the the micro detail, um, but I don't think it's it's too much. I think it's a decent balance. Um, the only thing that this didn't really come with, I don't think, as, as far as I've noticed yet, um, if anyone else wants to pick this up. Are the metallic um, parts for the thruster bells and the um, energy pipes for the torso and the neck. I think as well as some of these smaller pieces. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to find out. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Definitely worth the wait. So let's look at the parts real quick. Like the uh, these were in a, in a different batch, so I guess they're not colored like the other ones. I don't really care. This is all going to be painted and cleaned up, anyways. Um, but the casting is, especially on these 3D printed parts, they're like almost flawless. Yeah, this is fantastic. Definitely a. Uh, an inspiration. Uh, that's another re reason I wanted to pick up a, a resin kit is because I want to eventually make my own someday. If you're gonna take inspiration or learn a few things about uh, how to make an awesome conversion kit, you might as well get some from the best. Um, and these parts look amazing. It's definitely my first one, but I've been hooked on YouTube the last couple years looking up lots of resin builds and this is awesome. So I don't think this will be too difficult to clean up. These are some miscellaneous parts for the binders, um, as well as the some parts for the interior shoulders. So later on I can do a more detailed breakdown of um, which parts exactly uh, come in the expansion set and which parts come in the uh, the main set, um, just in case anyone is interested in um, picking this up, if they can still find it. I am super stoked for this build. There's a few other minor parts. So I also picked up the uh, Neo Zeon uh, Verka mechanical parts. 
These are some various option parts. Now, I ordered a few extra items, so um, I believe these do not come... These other pieces don't come with it. I'll show you those in a moment. Um, get an LED for the head. So, definitely a noob when it comes to uh, LEDs. So here are the metal parts. Thrusters and um, pins and uh, metal beads for everything. So this should cover it. I wasn't a fan of the, I think it was the gold version, so I picked up the, the red version. Now if anyone knows where I could pick up uh, these same parts uh, in blue, I would be ecstatic. I preferred, I think a mix of the red and the blue I think looked really cool. But for now, we've got these guys. So there's the main thrusters on the backpack, the smaller thrusters on the shoulder armor, the side skirt armor, um, chest beam weapon, rear skirt armor as well as the exposed rear skirt armor, thrusters for the legs, the elbow, forearms, shoulder joint, um, on the front flap on the foot, and as well as the green LED. So I also picked up a few different sizes and styles for the the beads. So these are through CJ Hobby metal part replacements. So there's some various uh, so there's the spring as well as some wire for structure. Um, if we can take a look at these guys. Uh, I like the um, almost gunmetal or like titanium color of these. I think that'll go really nicely with the rest of the kit. And they'll kind of pop um, with the metal ones. Um, so kind of a some two-tone metal there. I think that'll look really cool. Um, and these are just a couple different um, sizes. Uh, the energy pipes for the the waist are a little bit larger than the ones for the neck. So um, yeah, these ones are really tiny. Um, as well as the spring is really tiny too. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and happy I finally got the conversion kit. Right here, we've got the main body parts. The legs, the head, the chest, the arms, uh, the skirt armor. Everything for the main body that was sculpted with new parts. The expansion set right here is extra. That comes with the parts for the fin funnel binders, the parts for the propellant tanks, and modifications to the weapons, as well as a few part, um, extra parts for um, some additional detail in the shoulder uh, parts. And it comes with the, the really nice booklets, um, and the main set comes with the water slides. The metal parts do not come with the, the kit. Um, you can see them being used on in the photos, and there are a couple different versions you can get. You can get them usually in red and uh, gold metallic parts, in addition to the, the regular parts. But I also picked up the other additional energy pipes. And yeah, I'm really stoked and excited. Hopefully uh, this will be an interesting build series. So. See you guys.